Hey, Wilson, what's up, man? Come on in, man. I'm just getting set up for tonight. We do a movie night in the back, man, at, in my oasis. So it's fall, right? So the time has changed. It gets darker a lot sooner, and it's a lot cooler because that Texas summer heat was killing us, bro. So now we get to come out here and enjoy our movie nights outdoors and just relax. You know, a couple of drinks. I might even light the fire pit. But uh, let me show you my gear. Let me show you my setup, bro. You ain't gonna be able to stay because it's gonna be me and the wife. You know what I'm saying, bro? So I just, I'm just gonna show you and then you gotta go. So I'm using the Nebula Mars 3. I got this thing earlier this summer. This is a, I, I was about to say handheld, but this is a super actual portable projector with a, uh, it's got its own battery built into here and it has a light. You can do all your content with this thing. You can do some casual gaming on it. So you can do Hulu, all the content you want on this thing. This is a 120 inch screen that I'm casting on, but I'm, I'm guessing you could go up to probably 200 inches worth of screen. But I usually put this right here. Actually, you know what? Let's spend some time on this thing, man. Let me tell you about it. And then we'll go into my other pieces of gear that I like to use. So if you look at the top here, man, it's got like this dedicated little toggle. It does come with a remote, but this is nice and handy. On the, on the built-in handle, you got uh, your back button, your plus and minus, and you got your Bluetooth speaker mode because it does have an onboard speaker. That sounds really good. And typically, I don't even need the speaker, but sometimes because of the fountain on the pool or I don't know, maybe airplanes or the neighbors or something, I want the sound a little bit closer to me. Uh, so we use this Soundcore Motion 300. This is new this year too, man. And it turns out that this is actually the best speaker out of all my collection. I had to do like a, a test on all of them. This is the best speaker I've found to do uh, audio from, from, the, um, from the projector. Just, it, it still maintains that movie-like quality. So we just kind of, you know, lay back here. And then, you know, we got the bowl of popcorn here. Then we got the speaker here. We could have it facing up or facing towards us or whatever. So it, it just connects Bluetooth and there it is. But I like that little speaker right there for a lot of things. And it turns out that we use it now for, as like a home theater or home outdoor home theater speaker. But back to the projector. If you look on the back side of it, you got this digital display with your mode and it has a... Um, so if you, you can, once I turn it on, you can see it has like an eco mode and stuff, but it also has a battery indicator here. And it says you can get up to five hours of playtime, but that's in like super duper eco mode. I'm roughly getting about an hour and a half, 45. And if you actually know what you want to watch and you don't do any surfing, you can probably push a solid two hours out of this thing. So I use some battery banks that I got over there, which we'll get to in a second. But since we're on the backside of the projector, right here, this little, this little flap right here, it has all the ports. So you got your DC power in, it does have a DC power brick. And then you got your charging out because you can sip off that battery a little bit. And then you got your HDMI in where you can plug in your, your PS5, your Xbox or Switch, whatever you got. And then you got your aux cable. And then it's got a built-in LED right there with different lighting stages. And that's so if you're in the back of the projector and you know, I don't know, you lose the remote or just need to see something real quick, you just turn on this little handy light and then you got some illumination right there. And my favorite part of it actually is this. I don't wanna, well, you know what, let's just open it up. I'm gonna open this up, this little built-in lens cap right here. Most portable projectors I've played around with do not have, they don't even come with a lens cap for crying out loud, let alone have a door here to where you can just you know undo it and then it just turns itself on. But this projector is actually on right now. And yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it because it's too bright outside to see it anyways. I'm gonna show you some content later uh, of how it looks on the screen. But let's go over to uh, my battery banks because this is important because I did tell you that you're gonna get, if you're actually running that thing in like standard mode at full brightness and everything, you can push anywhere between an hour and a half to a solid two hours out of it. So I got these battery banks I wanna show you from Anchor. Uh, we got, this is, this is actually one that I really like to use because it's super light, super light and very portable. It's actually smaller than the projector itself. This is the Anchor 521. This is one of their last year's models, I believe. Look at that compared to the projector itself. So all you got to do is just plug into the, one of these AC outlets here and boom, you got power, right? And you got your car socket right here. It actually literally says car socket. Then you got your uh, USB A's, you got a USB C, and of course you got your illumination right there. And once you get that thing charged up, it's ready to go and you can have some extra playtime. But if you're doing more outside, such as 
I don't know, maybe charging more phones or like I did say PS5. So this, by the time you plug in your PS5 and you're running your videos and stuff, you're gonna need some more power. So then you can level up to something like the 535. This one is a little bit heavier and it is a little bit bigger and it is, I think, yeah, it is bigger than the actual projector. So I'm gonna put it there for size comparison, right? It is bigger, but you're getting two extra outlets and it looks like you're getting one extra USB-A and you're getting more power, okay? And then if you got a lot going on, bro, let's say you running like, I don't know, maybe an air compressor or something. I don't know, man. I don't know what this thing can power, but Anchor has kind of rebranded into Anchor Solix. It's not just Anchor anymore, it's Anchor Solix. And this is the Anchor Solix C1000. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six AC outlets. And looks like they're grounded too. Wow. Okay, and then you're getting two USB A's, two USB C's, and you got your car socket, and you can see the size comparison there. And it is quite a bit heavier. It's about the same, roughly about the same weight as that 535, maybe a little heavier, but you got these dual handles right here because, yeah, it probably is heavier. You can just set this bad boy on the ground, plug in all your peripherals, such as your PS5, mini fridge or whatever you got going, and run your projector, and you can go for days, man. You could just enjoy your content. So. For the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this screen down and finish my setup. And let me show you what this thing looks like at night because the picture is absolutely gorgeous coming out of the Mars 3, man. You gotta see this. Like I said, you can't stay, but I'll go ahead. You know what, I'll tell you what, let me run some B-roll and I I'll send it to you so you can see it later. Now get out of here, Wilson, my lady's coming out. All right, guys, welcome back. It is actually about that time for y'all to get out of here though because Hey, it's movie time. It's dark, the lady's making some snacks and I got Transformers playing. I'm gonna tell you what, man, there is nothing like watching a Michael Bay film on 120 inches. And that's what I'm doing right now. Man, I love Transformers, it's a great movie. But I do need to turn this off because I don't wanna get flagged for copyright kind of stuff. YouTube is very sensitive about this kind of uh, stuff when I show it. So let's go to some colors, man. Look at this, hold up. I gotta show you all these colors. Oh, look at that. All right, man, 120 inches, full HD, and it is bright, it's colorful, and it's awesome because I just get to pick it up by this handle and take it wherever I wanna go. I wanna demonstrate this light because sometimes you do need to use it. This is like regular, and then this is medium, and this is high, and this is actually too bright right now, even though I got this fireplace going. But if you need to, you know, if you're sitting in the back of the projector and you need to like, you know, look for the remote or something like that, or you know, you drop something, maybe some popcorn, you need to dig it out of the cracks of the furniture. You can just turn on, turn this light on real quick and then turn it off. But yeah, man, I'm really loving the image that it gives. And uh, as far as motion blur, you can watch sports with this because the there really isn't motion blur. It has this motion smoothness going. But of course, if you wanna watch something like a movie with that cinematic look, you can also tone that motion blur down because I like watching movies that way, especially shows. I don't like the, you know, the, the whole motion smoothness things when it comes to shows, but the options are here, man. You just press the little gear button on the remote and you get all your projector settings right up in here. I know you can't see it from this far, to, far away, but they are here. You got your brightness levels, you got your picture, um, your picture stuff, which is standard movie, conference room, and I have it on custom because of that motion smoothness uh, stuff that I told you I, I like to configure myself. Focus settings, even though it actually automatically, well, unless you set it. So it does have auto keystone and auto focus, and it works really, really good. It's not like spot on with the auto keystone. You might need to make a small adjustment, but that focus is tack sharp, like right automatically out of the box. Uh, let's see here, we got Bluetooth speaker mode. So if you're not watching anything and you just wanna play some tunes, you know, just sitting by the fire chilling, you can actually use this as a dedicated Bluetooth speaker if you wanted to. And let's see, ooh, you can control the ambient light from the, oh, you can control the, the light from the actual screen. That's pretty cool. So you can do high, medium, and low, and of course, off because it's actually blinding me. Look, man. I think the wife should be done with the popcorn and the, and the drinks. So that means that you guys gotta go because I ain't trying to be Netflix and chill it all out here with my wife and you, cause three's a crowd. <laughs> all right, man, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.